Okay, welcome to this uh, tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between north of east, east of north. What's the difference? Is there a difference? And there definitely is a difference. Let me talk to you about that. Uh, there was uh, some questions on the vector videos that I posted about what's the difference between north of east and east of north. So let me see if I can help you out a little bit here. Uh, first of all, if I have a vector here denoted by this arrow, and I'm going to define these axes here by my y-axis here and my x-axis here, right? And this is my vector here. And I have an angle here. Uh, let's say that I call that angle uh, 20 degrees uh, from here. Okay. When I define that magnitude here, and let's say that it's 100 meters right here, okay? The way that I would define that vector, okay, in terms of vector notation, I'm not talking about unit vector notation, but just vector notation in terms of magnitude and angle, is... Um, let's say that's vector A. I would say uh, vector A equals uh, 100 meters, 20 degrees, above the positive x-axis. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm not dealing with north, south, east, and west yet. I'm just talking about a basic default system here, a basic Cartesian system where we have x and y. The default, the default, okay, is always going to be the x-axis, okay? This is the default here in this case, just that. Okay, so that's the default. So we always default to the horizon. This is the horizon, okay, right here, okay? So the horizon is here, and we always default to that. So if I'm going to drop some a horizontal, I'm going to drop to the horizon here. Okay, if my vector was over here, okay, I'm going to default by dropping to the horizon here. So the default is always going to be the x-axis, okay? So that's just the default. It doesn't mean you have to do it that way, but that's the default. So if I did it over here, you know, clearly, if I wrote another vector over here, like vector b over here, and I said vector b was, let's just say, 150 meters here, and then I made this one, let's just say, 10 degrees. I know that's not the scale, but let's just pretend like that's 10 degrees right there. Uh, I would say vector B, in this case, is going to equal 150 meters, uh, 10 degrees above. In this case, it's going to be the negative x-axis. So negative x-axis in this case, okay? Again, this is my default right here. This is my default, the x-axis, okay? It might be the positive x-axis in this case. It might be the negative x-axis in this case. That's the default. We talk about the horizon always, okay? Yes, I could have drawn this. I could have drawn over here and said this is 80 degrees here. So let's draw our basic coordinate system here, okay? And I'm going to draw a vector like this out here again, okay? And now I'm going to define this in terms of north, south, east, and west. So I'm going to say north, south, east, west. Okay. So the sun rises in the east, right? So we always start with the east, and we're going to move in this counterclockwise fashion. Rises in the east, noon, high noon, sets in the west, okay, midnight, coming back across here. Okay, that's where that comes from. Uh, so let's just give an example here. Let's say that I was 20 degrees here. And in this case, I have, I don't know, 20 newtons. Let's stay with the twos here. So vector A is going to be 20 newtons at 20 degrees here. Okay? So here's my angle like this. So this is where we get into the, you know, the, the north, south, east, west notation here. So if I wrote this in terms of vector A, I would say vector A is 20 newtons, 20 degrees north of east. Now, the important thing to note here is that the axis that we're referring to is always the second one. So when I say of, that's the one I'm referring to in this case. So of means the reference point. So of is the reference. Okay. So 20 degrees, okay, 20 degrees north in this direction, north of my reference point, which is here. This is my reference point here, right? This is my reference east here. So I went 20 degrees north of my reference point right here, okay? Now, you could also have written this another way. 
you could have written it and come over this way all the way across you could have made your reference point the north axis here so I could have also written this and I could have said uh, vector a is going to be 20 newtons okay 70 degrees east of north okay now where's my reference point here my reference point is after where we have of here that's my reference point so of is my reference point again so this is my reference point okay so the of is the reference point so of the north here's the north I went 70 degrees east in other words I went this direction I went east okay of my reference point which is the north axis here now fortunately for you most of the time we're dealing with uh, a default system so we're most of the time we're not going to be saying seven degrees east east of north we're going to use our horizon as our reference point okay so most of the time we're not dealing with all this garbage in here you're probably going to see that garbage on a test if a teacher is trying to test your knowledge base to see if you're able to distinguish between the two reference points but uh, fortunately when you're dealing with physics and the unit circle uh, most of the time uh, once again our reference point is dealing with the horizon okay because remember the sun is always going to be rising in the east see my little sun there I don't know if you can see it there's my yellow sun it's going to be going over here setting in the west okay that's the default but if you had to do it the other way whatever comes after the of here the of is the reference point and that's what we're dealing with but most of the time it's going to be either west or east we're going to define so if we're defining our little bow tie here I talked to you about this in another video here if I have my bow tie like this however you're defining your vectors um, you're always going to drop those horizontals straight to the horizon uh, straight to the horizon here and straight to the horizon here you're not going to be dealing with the north and the south axis too much so this would be your angle here this would be your angle here this would be your angle here always dropping to the horizon always dropping or rising to the horizon in this case going to the horizon here okay so that's where your angle is going to be don't worry about this north axis too much unless it specifically asks you to define it from that direction uh, and again um, you know that's going to be the exception to the rule the reason we stay with the east uh, north, east, north, west, and south again too is because the notation when we're dealing with cosine and sine that we always want to keep everything alphabetical once again so we have x and y and we have cosine and sine right that we want to keep everything alphabetical in math right we have i and j everything's alphabetical x before y cosine before sine letter c before s i before j so you know if you keep to this uh, horizon notation here Okay, dropping to the horizon all the time. You know, the, the x is always going to be the cosine, the y is always going to be the sine, right? So the x value, so for example, if this was if this was r here, okay, that my r of x is always going to equal r, right, cosine theta, okay? And my y value is always going to equal r sine theta because I'm keeping to this default to the horizon or the x-axis. It makes things very simple and nice. Every time if you drop it to this horizon, you know that the cosine is the x, the sine is the y. You don't have to think about it. Otherwise, you're going to have to always draw your triangle and think about it. I talk about this in physics. There's two exceptions that we'll talk about later on. Uh, when we switch the cosines and the sines, and one of those is going to be uh, inclined planes, and the other one's going to be pendulums. In some applications of electricity and magnetism, we have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. But as far as we're concerned here with the vectors, always drop to the horizontal. Whatever, whatever is after the of is your reference point, and that's basically it. It's as simple as that. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.